Hey loves, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today's video is another watch me work, but it's inspired by my shirt. I'm just gonna stand up and show you how cute is this thing? I absolutely love it so, so much. If you guys know, I feel like I'm the queen of leopard. I would wear leopard print every single day if I could, if I had enough items for wardrobe. But um, this shirt is from Lavender and Lace. They are a little local boutique here where I am, but I do believe they ship all over Canada and I think they ship to the US. I will put all their information in the description bar below. Um, I actually heard about this company a few weeks ago from my bestie and half of me is like, why did you introduce me? I want to buy clothes from them every single week now and then the other half is like why didn't you introduce me sooner I just love everything that they come out with so if you are into really cute cute clothes um you guys have to check out this website it's so so good and I do know they carry sizes from or some stuff is extra small all the way up to 3x so and I feel like they fit pretty true to size and some stuff you can even size down in they will always let you know um what the size is if you can size down but yeah so that's kind of the background about this shirt so when I saw them sneak peek the shirt I was like I need it. That is the most beautiful shirt I've ever seen in my life. And I knew that I wanted to do nails inspired by it. And since I'm currently on lockdown, I was like, okay, hey, I will do my own nails. So if you are interested in seeing how I go from these to something inspired by this shirt, then just keep watching. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Sharin, and I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. All right, everyone, have a great day. All right, these are my current nails that we are going to be removing. So pretty. In this video, I'm only gonna show you the products I use and not step-by-step. Step. If you want to see everything in detail, there are other Watch Me Work videos that I show you everything and I have a full playlist. Uh, yes, that was Stitch. He jumped up on my table. He made a little cameo. And you will see I cut off one of my nails because I really wanted to test out these new forms and I love these forms. They are my favorite. I will link them down in the description bar below. So I decided to use Ugly Duckling Colors today and because I don't have exact match, I'm going to have to mix some colors to match the shirt. So I'm just going to let this play. I know so many of you love watching colors being mixed. So here's for all of you. So these two colors are the star of the show. I think they match the shirt perfectly. Also, if you guys have not yet tried these new colors from Ugly Duckling that come in the gel pots, they are incredible. Every time I use them, I'm just like so, so impressed. One coat coverage, they apply beautifully, no streaking, no shadowing. Uh, I just love them. I really, really pray Ugly Duckling launches some like neons for summer. I think that'd be so awesome. So, fingers crossed. Oh. 
Okay, so my next step is making this little white background. And what I think it kind of looks like is abstracty clouds in the sky. <laughs> That's what I was kind of trying to make it look like at least. And I am just diffusing the white. I'm dipping my brush in cleanser and then going in and diffusing the white. And I really think this looked good. Now, what I wish I would have done is made the leopard print even bigger. I think in the end, I made them a little too small. So it almost looks like polka dots instead of leopard print. Now, I still really like how they turned out. But if you're going to recreate this set, then I would suggest making these spots way bigger and not so many... Um, not as clustered on the nail, if that makes sense. And now I am just going in with all my little mixes that I made and doing the random leopard spots around the pink sections. Okay, and now I am going back in with the white and I have some cleanser on my brush to diffuse it. On the actual shirt, the colors aren't super harsh. They do have some white going through them. So that is what I tried to recreate, but it didn't turn out the exact way I wish it would have. And then the last step is bling. And if you know me, you know I love my bling. And the last two sets I've done actually didn't have bling on it. So I was well overdue. So the thought behind this pink blingy nail is it represents the pink cardigan that I was wearing. And the pink cardigan is called Sugar Something. I can't remember the exact name, but I know it's Sugar Something. And I know this is a stretch, but with it being sugar, I felt like, okay, sugar is kind of like crystals in some weird brain of mine so <laughs> I was like Kate this will work the pink and the crystals will kind of be like the pink and the sugar name of the cardigan hopefully that makes sense to you all and I don't sound completely crazy So in the beginning of this video, I mentioned I would wear leopard print every single day if I could. I would love it if you guys could comment below and let me know what is something you would wear every single day. Is there a specific design or your favorite color? What is it that you would wear every single day if you could? Okay, and the very last step is top coat. I decided to go with shiny. I think a matte top coat would have matched the shirt a little bit better, but I just, I'm not a fan of matte coat on myself personally. All right, and here is the finished look. What do you guys think? Comment below. Did I do this shirt justice or do you think I should have done bigger leopard spots? They kind of look abstracty to me now, but I still think they're cute. Anyways, thanks so much for watching everyone. Bye.